These are the eyes of a young girl, barely out of high school. Her name is Alice Trenton, and she's been on a long, long trip. But unlike the fabled Alice in Wonderland, this Alice never saw the Cheshire Cat, the Mad Hatter, or the Queen of Hearts. This Alice traveled through the dark and endless caverns of Acid Land. The place for her was no fairy tale. <laughs> Psychiatrist for the state, I've been faced with some strange and but none stranger than the story I'm about to tell you. Alice spent her first year of junior college, and until she was introduced to Frida Hamilton, a young Frencher, she had been a normal, well-adjusted young lady. I was flawed his interest in me. And when he suggested Kathy and I join her Saturday afternoon for a pool party, I accepted. What Dan Trenton didn't realize was that a drastic change was taking place in his daughter's personality. She was coming out of her shell, who had been missing in her life. I... I told him what theater. The recent introduction of LSD, or acid as it is sometimes called, could destroy completely the moral responsibilities of our younger generation, as this case clearly illustrates. Frida was using Bob Fletcher's house for the party so she could introduce me to the in-group. I found out later Bob Fletcher was a physical education teacher. I guess she looked at me as a diamond in the rough that needed polishing. Alice had never experienced such attention and flattery before, and she loved every minute of it. She had finally found the path she chose to take. And Frida was more than willing to help. I felt like a real kid. Everything was new to me. Even the cigarettes. The liquor burned my throat. But after a while, I was beginning to relax floating higher and higher. A wonderful feeling. Frida had a friend who was an attendant in a service station on the Sunset Strip and allowed she and her friends to change in the ladies' room. Removing her clothes, Alice changed into a costume more befitting her new personality. She now belonged to another society, another world, a world of pot, LSD, and free love. Alice Trenton, as her father knew her, was dead. Long live Alice. She had now become a wild and provocative twinight hippie, complete with the Indian beads and moccasins. Kathy invited us to a real out-of-sight party at Bob Fletcher's pad. Just a few intimate friends high in the Hollywood Hills. Kathy said she would have the party warmed up by the time we got there. And she wasn't kidding. Alice had a thing for Bob, or animal as his friends called him for obvious reasons. And she made it known as soon as she arrived at the party. Here was her chance to prove that she belonged in the sex for pleasure inner circle and prove it she did. Kathy Wilson was a nymphomaniac who looked like an angel. For all outward appearances, she could have fooled anyone, except a few close friends, who all knew she was a sex machine who'd ball anybody, under the right circumstances. Frida had found a new conquest, a new girl, who had just transferred to the junior college the week before from a college in Texas. She was a long-stemmed beauty with no brains. It was obvious that she was perfectly willing to do anything required if it made her acceptable to our circle of friends, especially Frida. Animal had pushed the right button, and Alice had exploded with a passion for sex that turned her into a wildcat.
Now her hunger for fun and games was dominating Alice's mind and body completely. And she began to invent lies to tell her father, particularly when she arrived home in the wee hours of the morning after a wild night with animals. She was now beginning to recruit new girls on the campus to feed into the grist mill of the party group. If Alice's father had any premonition of what would take place that fateful night, he would have given his life to have kept his daughter at home. For never again would Alice or Betsy be the same girls that had been so carefully raised for all those years. Betsy was a virgin, a young thing. Animal immediately got the hots for her. And we talked her into joining us with a promise that we would get her home safe and sound. Animal was careful to prime Betsy with nothing more than a couple joints of pot. He knew she wouldn't drink, but might go for the weed since the other girls were doing it with obvious pleasure. Animal tried his most persuasive line on Betsy. The pot had just begun to weaken her resistance. And when she agreed to let him show her the rest of the pad, he felt he was as good as in. I could feel the LSD floating through my entire body, streaming through every pore. All of my most sensitive areas were inflamed, my extremities pulsating with tingling sensation. Frida had told me that Janice's death was an accident. She insisted that LSD had no ill effects, and that it was a fantastic and exhilarating sensation that would open new worlds for me, an exciting experience I would never forget. And I began to see things I had never noticed before. I began to float up and away from my body, as my brain seemed to be held in the grip of a giant vice. My temples were pounding. Everything around me became suddenly unreal, as if in a dream. And I was slowly being drawn into the painting and powerless to stop myself. I wanted to cry out for help, but I could not force my mouth to open. go to. Please take me. The colors are so beautiful. Beautiful light. is Alice Trenton, a mental vegetable. For this Alice, there was no looking glass to come back through. This was no fairy tale. This Alice had gone on a long, long trip to acid land, never to return. Mm -hmm. 